Right. Yes. No problem. How much do you want me to say? My name is Richard Moore. I'm a botanical horticulturalist at Kew Gardens. The gardens are regarded as one of the most important botanical gardens in the world with one of the largest collections of plants which not only create these, these beautiful gardens for visitors to enjoy but uh, provide an invaluable resource for, sci for scientific research. As a botanical horticulturalist we're responsible essentially for looking after the plant collections at Kew Gardens. It is different every day. We have our essential tasks to ensure that the plants stay alive. Apart from that, really every day is a bit different. When you're working with living things, you have to, you have to work with them. These plant collections, one of their primary purposes is for scientific research. They are incredibly valuable. We're always here to look after them and to make sure that they're healthy and to keep them alive. This is one of my favourite plants. This is Wollemia nobilis, the Wollemi pine from Australia. Through conservation work, we've been able to ensure the survival of this species. Just in front of us is the historic palm house, a beautiful glass house. And I think one of the most beautiful buildings in London, actually. This is one of the secret gardens of Kew, real hidden gem. This is the medicinal herb garden behind Kew Palace. It's a really beautiful building built by a Dutch silk merchant originally, later becoming a royal palace. All of the plants in this garden have medicinal properties which have been used either historically or are still in use. And then we've got the, the native, beautiful um, Digitalis purpurea foxgloves, which are brilliant for pollinators. Um, but it's also used medicinally to treat heart conditions. This is the rock garden behind me and the Alpine Glasshouse. Uh, this is the, the garden which I work in at the moment. It's one of the largest collections at Kew, uh, full of fascinating alpine plants from around the world. It's been a difficult time, but um, for, for, every, for all of the staff who have been here at Kew, you couldn't really be in a better place at a time like this. It's the most lovely place to be um, at any time, but especially now with everything that's going on. The Rose Garden is, is open to the public at the moment. People are, are already enjoying it. It's lovely to see all the visitors and wandering about. Um, I think everyone's got a smile on their face. With all of these plants, um, my advice is um, not to overwater them. I think a lot of people um, accidentally kill their plants with kindness. If, if you begin to see the plant wilting, if you see the leaves dropping and looking sad, then give it some water. But don't just give it some water because you think it might like it. The plant, plants will tell you what they need. Me and my wife love love going out to uh, different restaurants. There's, you can eat you know, food from around the world in London and I love that. And just exploring, just exploring London. There's so much of it to, to discover. Almost every time we, we go out, we'll find something new. I always encourage everyone to, to look up. So many people are just looking at all the shops at ground level, but actually when you, if you look up every now and again, You'll notice how beautiful all of the buildings and the architecture is in central London.